deploying Adobe Acrobat and Creative Cloud for Teams Acrobat subscriptions. In this video, we will talk about how to create and deploy Acrobat packages which support Creative Cloud for Teams subscriptions. To get started on Windows, we need a few files. We need the Acrobat 11 installer, the latest Acrobat patch, and a transform which will enable Creative Cloud for Teams subscriptions. You'll get all the download links on the web page URL on your screen. I've already downloaded the Acrobat installer, which is Acrobat Pro underscore 11 underscore web underscore wwmui.exe, which is a self extracting file, and extracted it. The 11.0.07 Acrobat update patch, which is Acrobat UPD 11007.msp, and the transform Acrobat CCT workflow.mst. Now, after extracting from the Acrobat self-extracting file, you're going to have an Adobe Acrobat 11 folder on your desktop. Let's open that up, and you'll see the README files and a subfolder, Adobe Acrobat 11. Let's open up the subfolder. Let's move the patch into that folder, and let's also move the transform into that folder. At this moment, if you want to make some additional customizations like accepting the EULA on behalf of your users, you can use the Adobe Customization Wizard for Acrobat 11, and you can download that at the URL on the screen. So once you installed the Adobe Acrobat Customization Wizard, You need to open up the package. Let's do that. File, open package, navigate to the Adobe Acrobat 11 subfolder, and select acropro.msi, and click open. So now we'll load the Acrobat CCT workflow.mst transform here. To do this, you go to the transform menu and you go to Load Transform, navigate to the Adobe Acrobat 11 subfolder again, and select Acrobat CCT Workflow.mst, and select Open. The transform's now been loaded. You can now make additional customizations like suppression of the EULA. Okay, for this, we simply check Suppress Display of End User License Agreement EULA. Now, to save this, we'll go File, Save Package, and this will save your customizations in the Acrobat CCT Workflow.mst transform. The final part to this is configuring the setup INI file in our installer binaries to include transform and patch for a single transaction install. So, let's Close the customization wizard and go to the setup INI file. And let's go to edit. And we want to go to the product section and scroll down to the area here where it has command line equal, transforms equal. And you'll notice it already has the MST file for us Acrobat CCT workflow.mst. So we only have one more line to add here. And this line is going to be, and this is important to have the caps lock on for this particular portion, is patch. And then you take the caps lock off, equal sign, quotation, acrobat, UPD 
seven in this case dot msp quotation and then go to file save and then as soon as we've finished doing that we have our package ready for deployment using standard deployment tools like SCCM in Windows. You just have to deploy the setup.exe and it will install Acrobat updated to the latest patch, which in this case is 11.0.07. Similarly, on Macintosh operating systems, you have to download three installer packages. First, Acrobat 11 installer DMG, which is Acrobat Pro underscore 11 underscore web underscore www.mui.dmg, the Acrobat 11.0.0 patch, which is Acrobat UPD 11007.dmg, and finally, the CCT workflow patch, which is Acrobat CCT workflow.dmg. You will get all the download links on the web page URL displayed on your screen. On mounting the DMGs, you'll see that the Mac installers are standard PKG files. You can create chained installer package with these packages or deploy them individually using standard deployment tools like ARD, which is Apple Remote Desktop for Mac. The order of the deployment would be first the Acrobat 11 installer, then the Acrobat patch, and finally the Acrobat CCT workflow patch. Thanks for watching this video.